Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can kill the new warlord in Modern Warfare Zombies called Dockerby. It's easy to do and I'll show you how you can do it solo as well. If you have friends to help you then it's even easier, but before we start if you're not subscribed please click the subscribe button so I know you guys enjoy the content. Ok so to get started I highly recommend that you enter a match fully geared. If you don't have some of these items on you it might be worth going into a game to prep these things first but none of this is required, but of course it just makes it safer and easier to complete this. You should have a few self revives, I'd suggest at least two. You should have an ether blade or golden armor plates, but both would be pretty good. You should have a few perks, namely speed cola and juggernog, and I'd also suggest that you have a three plate vest and some stims on you as well. Alright, once you're fully geared, you'll want to head to the large skyscraper in Zaravan City with three cranes around it. You might notice that the bottom of the cranes have been updated and they're now blocked off, which means you can't phase through the cranes halfway up and use the ascender to get to the top. But don't worry, there are a few different ways to cheese this. However, I'll show you the normal, legit way of getting a fortress keycard first. So head to a mercenary camp and either kill the mercs or just go straight to the cache in the middle and take the stronghold keycard. Then head to a mercenary stronghold and clear it out and drill the safe. Inside the safe there will be a fortress keycard for Dockerby. Now, take the keycard and head to the construction site. When you go to the ground floor of the building, you'll see a Wilson driving around that will attack you if it detects you nearby. It is fairly easy to kill it if you use the cover around you, and you have a decent gun on you as well. But you don't actually need to kill it though, because it doesn't drop anything, and it's not like the Wilson on a Sheikah Island that you needed to hack to get inside the fortress. So, it's just there to cause you problems more than anything, so if you want to run past it, you can. Head into one of the lifts and then go to the top floor. When you get out of the lift, you'll be in a small rectangle shaped room with two sets of double doors in front of you, which is where you'll need to use your Dockerby Fortress keycard to unlock. If you have the keycard, then unlock the doors here. However, if you don't have a keycard, you'll need to take an alternate route to the top. Now there's two possible alternate routes, and the best route is to get to the top of this building to the west and use the zip line across to the skyscraper. Once you get off the zip, you can climb up the crates and over the wall to get into the main area and then you can unlock the fortress doors from the other side without needing a keycard, so you can let your friends or other players in to help you. The other method, which I personally prefer, is to go to this building to the south and jump off the roof and parachute over to the crane on the east side of the building. As long as you can parachute to one of the small square walkways on the crane, you can then ascend the zip line to the top of the crane and then walk across it to jump onto the roof of the building. Once you're in the fortress, the fight begins. There will be lots of bomb drones that constantly spawn in and will blow up causing a small amount of damage to you. One or two won't do much individually, but if you let two or three blow up at once, it will hurt quite a lot. Walk around to the south side of the roof and you should see Dockerby defended by lots of mercenaries and two sentry turrets. I suggest that you take out the mercenaries first, and then take out the sentries. Mercenaries will continue to spawn in though once you've taken out the initial wave, but I would suggest focusing everything on Dockerby. She'll be surrounded by special shielded bomb drones, so take out as many as you can because it's likely she'll actually use these drones to fly away to the other side of the roof if you take too long. So try and tank all the damage you can and then focus fire on her. Take out the shielded drones around her and it'll be much easier to defeat her. Once she's dead, she'll drop a self revive for you. Now, mercenaries will still spawn in intermittently for a little bit, but then they will stop eventually once the fortress icon disappears from the map. You'll then just get lots of tier 2 zombies spawning in normally. After a few seconds when Dockerby has been killed, a reward rift will open up which will contain a new blueprint called the Mediator. Unfortunately, unlike the hazardous blueprint from the early days of DMZ when it unlocked the blueprint 2 when you exfilled, this will simply become a contraband weapon for you to use in future matches. It won't actually unlock the blueprint to use in Warzone or multiplayer, which is quite annoying. It's an okay build, it takes out mercenaries reasonably well, but it does need Pack-a-Punch to really do anything against zombies. But that's how you take out the new Warlord Dockerby. Thank you for watching, please remember to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!